I'm just gonna fix our camera here a little bit. Okay. So I'm Chelsea. My name is Sam. And I work with Positive Parenthood. This is Positive Parenthood Story Time, and we build connection and inspire calm. And today we are getting really creative and having fun. This is Sam. Yes. This is. And this is Luna. Unicorn. I'm Sienna. And maybe you noticed that there's some other people here today. We all have sock puppets. Hello. This is Pearl. She's gonna sing with us today. And today, what day is today? Today is Monday. But before we talk about days of the week, there's a good morning song that we have to sing. Are we ready? Let's do it. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? We are well, thank you. We are well, thank you. Play at home. Play at home. Now in Spanish, in Spanish. Okay, let's do it. Buenos dias. This is Pearl. Luna, what's your sock puppet's name? Elsa. Elsa the unicorn. Elsa. And Sienna, what's yours name? Um, Elsa. Two Elsa unicorn sock puppets. Mine is Anna. Mine is Anna. Oh, okay. My name is Anna. Hello. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> oh, Sienna says her sock puppet's name is Chelsea, just like me. That's so silly. So every morning there's two good morning songs that we sing, and we sing good morning. And now it's time to sing, oh, Mika, come sit with Mama. Now it's time morning. to sing the birdie song. Are you ready? Get your birds out. This one is Okay, way, way up in the sky, the little birds fly. While down in the nest, the baby birds rest with the wing on the right and a wing on the left. Good morning, good morning, the little birds sing. One more time, faster, way up in the sky, the little birds fly. While down in the nest, the baby birds rest. We're going fast with the wing on the right and the wing on the left. Good morning, good morning, the little birds sing. Wonderful singing. So today is Monday. So today is Monday. Today is Monday of week seven of being at home. Ready for the song? Today is Monday. favorite ocean animal? Does anybody love a dolphin? Or maybe a... What other ocean animals? Thanks for showing us. Put them back, girls. Well, what other ocean animals are there? Luna, can you think of another animal that lives in the ocean? A crocodile. Crocodile. Crocodiles live in marshes. What, what about marshes? starfish? Yes. Raise your hand if you love starfish. Starfish. Raise your hand. I've never seen a starfish, but I want to see one. Oh, How about sharks? Oh, raise your hand if you love sharks. 
Who loves sharks? Uh, sharks. What about what else lives sharks. in the ocean? You have a, you love sharks. Yeah. What else? Not How about whales. Whales. <laughs> whales. Whales. And octopus. And, and what else? Octopus. Octopus. Yeah. And when we have more than one octopus, we call them octopi. What else lives in the ocean? You know what? There are these dolphins that live in the ocean. Let me see this, Mika. And they are little blue dolphins. So we are going to sing a song about little blue dolphins. And I'm going to invite my friend Pearl hello, to sing along with us. And later today, if you like, you're going to be able to make your very own little blue dolphin. Are you ready to sing? Let's do it, Sam. So this is a song about a dolphin. And it went like this. The little dolphin is slamming to swim. And when he needs some help, his mom is with him. The little dolphin is ready to eat. And he goes with his dad to find some food. The part where the dolphin goes up and down, right and left. No. Come on. And he goes up and down. And he goes right and left. And he's moving. And he's moving. He's staying. show and mama's gonna hold these three puppets and if you are my girl I want you to find a spot where you can see. I'm gonna scoop forward a little bit. Now this is a puppet show. The doctor said a dinosaur's hot. Mika would like everybody to know. This puppet show is about my friend Goldie the dolphin and my other friend Violet the dolphin and my th oh, you can hold this one Mika. And my third friend, Emerald the Dolphin. Are you ready to hear the story? Pearl is going to tell us the story about these three dolphins. Okay, so let's get the story out. Um, so this is I Am Pearl. And I love rainbows and monkeys and Legos, and I also, Mama's gonna hold these. You can hold that one. And I also love dolphins. And I want to tell you, no, I'm gonna hold these, about my absolute favorite dolphins. First, there is Goldie. 
This is Goldie. And since school has been out, Goldie has been spending a lot of her time with her brother, Emerald. Goldie and Emerald are brothers and sisters. They love to play tag. Okay, so first Goldie swims up and down and then Emerald tags her and then um, Goldie's in and Emerald swims and Goldie tags him and they played all day like this, up and down and up and down. And then, do you know what Goldie found? What? Goldie found a treasure box. Who has an idea about what could be in the treasure box? What do you think, Sienna? A golden coin. A golden coin. A golden coin. Let's open it and see. What do you think, Luna? Yeah. What does ever does anybody else have a guess? Oh, let's open it. Okay, can you let's so it's hard to open. Open the box. Oh, what? That's not a golden coin. What? It's a purple scarf. And what? Else Something else is in the box. Wait a second. It's not a golden coin. It's a piece of wood. And it has golden stuff. It has some golden stuff. But I thought there was going to be something. Hello. Wait a second. I saw something. Hello. Is anybody there? It's a little purple dolphin came out of the box. What? Goldie was a little bit scared because Goldie had never seen a purple dolphin. But the purple dolphin really wanted to play. And she started to cry because she didn't have anyone to play with. What should she do, Sienna? What do you think, Luna? Maybe she could ask Goldie to play with her. Hey, hello, hello. Is anybody there? I want to play. And Goldie creeps out and she said, well, hello, but are you a dolphin? Because I've never seen a purple dolphin. I only have seen green dolphins and orange dolphins and blue dolphins. And the purple dolphin said, why sweet friend, there are many colors of dolphins. I'm a dolphin and I want to play. Emerald though, Emerald was still afraid. So Emerald stayed hiding behind with Pearl and Goldie and Violet started to play. They played and they jumped and they played and they jumped. Let's see your dolphin hands. Dolphins do this. I just got Sienna in the forehead. Okay, and then you know what happened? Then. Goldie said, hey brother, it's not so scary. Violet is a friend and she loves to play tag just like us. And who is it? Go Emerald popped up and he was a little bit afraid, but he said, I'm gonna try it. I think I'll try playing with these friends. And they all started to play tag. Whoosh. And you know what dolphins sound like? They kind of sound like, ah, 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 mm, mm, mm. So let's, let's see your dolphin hands, and I want to hear your dolphin sounds. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, ah, ah. They kind of sound like dogs, but high-pitched. Ah, ah, ah. Dolphin, 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 yeah. So the dolphins played and played and played, and even though they were different than each other, they had so much fun. Sienna found another dolphin, and since we just learned our dolphin song, I think we should sing it again, and we should play with our dolphins. Are you ready? Mika can come sit with Mama, and we're gonna sing the dolphin song again. Come yeah. here, Mika. Okay, so get your dolphins out. If you're my girl, you can use one of the popsicle stick dolphins. And if you're somebody else, you can do your dolphin with your hand. Are you Is everybody ready, ready? friends? Is everybody ready? Let's do everybody it. Like this. Everybody, come on. Everybody, come on. Just a little bit of moving man over there. A little dolphin is learning to swim. And when he needs his own help,
The little dolphin is ready to sleep and he says good night and he night, ready to dream. Good night dolphins, good night. Okay, so I am wondering if everybody can go find one thing in their house that looks like something that might live in the ocean. It might be a stuffed animal. It might be something blue because the ocean is blue. I, in fact, see a shark stuffy under our table. It might be a small fish, or it might just be a blue towel or a blue scarf that you might think that fishies might live inside of. Are you ready? Mommy, Let's yeah. take two minutes, to, or one minute, yeah. to go find something. Thank you. Go find something that lives in the ocean. Why don't you get that shark, Mika? Go and find something to play like an ocean. Go and find something right now. Baby. Okay. We're going to read a little story that 
has a lot of ocean animals in it. Are you ready? So if you're my kiddo, find a spot where you can see. Okay, this is called Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carle. Here we go. I'm gonna scoot over just a little Can bit. Can you sing please? I'm sure. Okay. It's time. Okay. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Seahorse. This she seahorse? laid her eggs into a pouch on Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said the other seahorse. I promise. This one? Yeah. That's one the laid eggs and one put them in their belly. As seahorse drifted gently by through the sea, he passed by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. Before long, seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? said seahorse. I'm delighted, said Mr. Stickleback. I just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs into it. Now I'm taking good care of them till they're long, till they hatch. The papas in the fish oftentimes take care of the babies. Keep up the good work and Seahorse swam away. Seahorse drifted through the sea and he passed right by a lionfish hidden in the coral reef. Can you see it in there? It's really hard to see, it's camouflaged. There it is. Hidden in the coral reef. Before long, Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Tilapia? said Seahorse. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Tilapia laid your eggs and you're taking good care of them until they hatch. You must be very happy, said Seahorse, and continued swimming. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea and passed right by a pair of fish among the seaweed. Can you see them? No. Not yet. Let's turn the page and find them. Can Look at those two little fishies. They were hiding. Before long, Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Curtis fish? Perfectly fine, said Curtis. I have eggs and they are resting on my head until they are ready to hatch. Look at the eggs on his head. You're doing a great job, said Seahorse, and swam on her way. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea and passed Where right by baby? a stonefish hiding in a rock. Can you see the stonefish? No. It's camouflaged. Look at, there it is. It was hiding behind the rock. The stonefish looks like the rock. Before long, Seahorse met another fish. How are you, little pipefish? I couldn't be better. I've got eggs hiding along my belly and I'm waiting for them to hatch. You should feel proud, said Seahorse. Before long, Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? Said Seahorse, I'm tip top. I've got eggs and eggs and now I'm babysitting. Look at the papa fish and all these little eggies. You are doing a wonderful but job, he said still Seahorse. Has baby? Seahorse I'm still has the babies in his out. tummy. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that, and the babies tumbled from seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned and tried to come back into the pouch. Oh no, said seahorse, I love you, but now you are ready to be on your own. Look, there go all the babies, beautiful rainbow seahorse But which babies. one tried to turn and go back? I don't know, which one do you think tried to turn and go back? Maybe this one. Yeah, maybe one of those. There's an awful lot of them. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot of babies. We have twins, and that's when you have two babies at once. But that seahorse had twelve babies at once. Oh my goodness. So I know a song that we know that's about another water animal. Oh, Mika brought her twins out. She's got twin babies. And it's a song that has to do with two little froggies. So frogs, I don't think there's any ocean frogs. Most frogs live in fresh water. But let's sing our froggy song. Get your frogs out. Are you ready? Gong, gong, went the little green frog one day. Gong, gong, said the other one too. Gong, gong, they sat together and their eyes went woo, woo, woo. Now we have a kind of special.
special request to sing gong gong about a unicorn. So if you were the girl who wanted to do that, get your sock puppet unicorn on and we're gonna pretend our hands are still unicorns. I'll get my sock puppet out. Now, unicorns don't say gong gong. What do you think they might say? They say no. They say nay. Good. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, we got one more unicorn coming to join us. today. Now if you have a box, today you're going to make a unicorn or make a dolphin. Scoot over Luna. Okay, you're going to cut your dolphin out and then you can paint him. You might decorate him with some or her with some silver tin foil. Um, and I emailed all of you the lesson plan. So if you don't have a box, you can print out a, a dolphin and decorate it. You can bring your dolphins tomorrow and all of our, 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 all of our dolphins can play together, okay? Okay, so before we sing our goodbye song, let's make some magic for today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rub your Good hands night. together. Sienna. Goodbye, Sienna. Oh gosh, Sienna's doing Goodbye. it behind her back. Get him really nice and warm. This is nice hot dolphin oh, unicorn is. magic to keep you calm and sweet and happy. Take some of that magic. Put it on your brain. Take some of that magic and put it on your heart. Take some of that magic and sprinkle it on your friends. Mommy. And your Mommy. brothers and sisters and the people that take care of you and each other. And let's make a little bit more magic to put in our pockets in case we need it later today. Rub, rub, rub. Stretch it out. Make it really long. Make it really small. Roll it into a ball. Okay, let's put it in our pockets in case we need some magic later. You ready to sing the bye bye song? Let's do it. Is everybody ready? Come on, sing with, sing with me, on. everyone. Okay. Today.